Okay, so here we are up in the high Sierras on the bow season. And basically, this is a bow hunting scouting for rifle expedition. <laughs> so, so far, we've seen a small buck and a doe. And there's the rig taking a beating. Here we have a new member of the hunting community. What's up? Steve. He's learning the ropes. That's my teacher right there. Right now he's learning how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is a good spot. It's got an opening, open area. Very good for rifle. And uh, this is another episode of backpack hunting. Except that we're not backpacking now. Even though we brought the gear, introduce it to the new area. And he's teaching me everything I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's grasshopper now. <laughs> and everything that I pretend to know. <laughs> yeah, you get the hang of it. But you know, it's not all about the hunting. Look, it's it's about the camaraderie and the, yeah going out in the woods and we we met a couple of guys down at camp and uh we're over there you know having a few uh, drinks and telling stories and stuff is that on or off yeah it's that it's the fat burning give it about 30 seconds cover it up so that melt uh, the cheese a little bit and and the buns so yeah the plan is to come back here and uh, try for the rifle I haven't been in this area for I don't know 10 almost 12 years I caught a deer here but the forest has changed there have been a couple of fires already and the area where I hunted, which is down below, is lower. We're about 78 to 100 feet. I think I was hunting around 6,500 feet, so it got all burnt. So I'm beginning to uh, get to know this new area and see how it goes. So now we're gonna have lunch. Burgers with all the trimmings. And also, uh, I don't know what's going on. I installed a Harbor Freight solar panel on the camper. It's on the other side. And at home, it was working fine. I had it on. It was charging. Now, I, turn, I flick on the switch, and I get a little light that says low, and nothing else happens. The battery is good, because I have a tester. I looked at it. It's got power. So I don't know what's going on with the... Uh, with the panels maybe something got disconnected on top there when it was going through a rough trail there's a trail back up in this area that is pretty rugged goes all the way to the top but this is a four-wheel drive we did the trail okay but maybe the cable got disconnected on top so when i get home i have to check that out and uh the temperature went down around 30 what was it about 34 yeah it was pretty cold last night. it was a little nippy and we forgot to close a couple of windows and you know, Steve came with his backpacking system. He set up his tent. He had everything <laughs> ready to go. And when it started getting nippy, I told him, hey, if you want to go in the camper, man. He goes, yeah, man. Because <laughs> it was freezing. It was freezing. And I had two windows open. I didn't even know because of the curtains. So now we keep them shut. Anyways. It's going to be good. Let's see what happens today. So it worked out fine for me. Yeah. I have my zero degree bag. I was set. That's right. Ray froze. Yeah, I had the, I had that zipper. I'm, I'm on the top bunk, and he's down at the window bunk. And I had the zipper open about a foot and a half on that top there. And I didn't know it because I just didn't, didn't uh, you know, look or anything. And... Uh, I had a breeze coming right through, hit me in the, right on the head, and I forgot my beanie. So I had a rough. I couldn't sleep well. But tonight's different. Everything's closing, and 
Also got a heater that I forgot to turn on. I was just dead tired. I drove for almost 12 hours. So, all right. So let's go to lunch later.